between the Iowa caucus, the State of the Union, and the impeachment acquittal, Donald Trump just had his best week of his presidency, hands down. And before and before I get into all that, I just want to thank everybody who watched my last video. That's been my most watched video on YouTube, so thank you guys for watching it. And like, I hope more people keep watching them. It keep so. But yeah, I want to thank everybody who watching, and I did, and I wanted to talk about one comment someone put on there because, like, I don't care. Like, I normally wouldn't do it, but I thought thought this comment was just funny because they disagreed with me, and they didn't just tell me things that they disagreed with. They just they just started out and saying, "This is all your opinion." It's like, yeah, no shit, it's my opinion. Like, that's the point. The, the video is me saying my opinion. The video is, I hate the Super Bowl halftime show. There's nothing about that that's not an opinion. So, oh, it's like, you sound like the dude from the Big Lebowski. It's like, yeah, that's like your opinion, man. So, that was something that I just kind of thought was funny about that last video. But, yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching that last video. I appreciate it. Um... So yeah, let's get right into this week because it was crazy. Like Iowa caucus was Monday, and what the hell happened there? <laughs> like I'm still not a hundred percent sure. Like I still don't think they know who won. Last I heard, that Bernie Sanders had the most votes, then Joe, um, Pete Buttigieg got the most delegates, but then they called for a, like a recall or some vote or something. I'm not really sure what's all going on there, but it's still not decided yet. And oh, these are these are the people that want to run our healthcare. They can't they can't figure out how to run a caucus of a hundred and like forty thousand people, but they want to run healthcare for everybody. <sighs> so. Now we're going to get into the State of the Union. It happened Tuesday. And good speech. I, he's, Donald Trump gave a really good speech. A lot of people liked it. Very, like, like it was good for him, but I, I got upset with a bunch of things he said. Because a lot of what he's, like, he did a whole bit of talking about how socialism is bad, evil. I agree. How he's going to make sure social like defend America against socialism. But then he went on to list a bunch of socialist programs. He said, "I'm never going to touch Medicare or Social Security. I'll look, it's going to stay the same forever." That's a horrible idea. It's gonna, it's going to be bankrupt in 10 years. So no. How about no? Like, um, then he's talked about infrastructure, built, rebuilding infrastructure, infrastructure, um, giving out scholarship, giving out scholarship, federal scholarships to private schools and schooling. No, uh, and then just bunch of government research that should not be done that the government has no business doing. So he's like. Whole point of that speech, right? Part of that speech was socialism is bad, but here's a bunch of socialism, and I just I rolled my eyes. That right there is why I'm not a Republican. That right there, that right there is why I'm not voting for Donald Trump in 2020. Is that part of the speech right there? He does not care about cutting spending, but it was a good speech. Like I hate. Hate the State of the Union. We, I think, we should just get rid of it. The State of the Union was designed for the president to give a lit, just a basic letter to Congress saying how the how the country is doing. It does not need to be this giant spectacle where we go go worship at the idol of the government. I think that's one of the worst things in American politics is the making the government our war like. The president, mate, like as our king, and the government, everybody in government, as some better, someone that's our betters that we need to pray at the altar of. I hate it. It is stupid. But Donald Trump knows how to use it. Like he, 
he has that spectacle, does a good spectacle of it, and makes people feel all good inside, and then Democrats just look childish doing it. Like with Nancy Pelosi ripping the speech, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, Nancy. Like right on TV, it's like y your whole thing is Donald Trump is childish and petty, and then you do something childish and petty. So, like, the economy's good, and you... Don't, your only knock against him is he's childish and petty, and you're being just as childish and petty. Let's stick with this childish and petty with the good economy instead of that crazy shit that's going on in Iowa, that can't, party that can't get Iowa figured out. So, and then the very next, then Wednesday, the impeachment trial, which Trump was acquitted like everybody knew he was going to be. But Democrats were able to get one Republican to defect. That's right, Mitt Romney voted to remove the president from office. It's not really that surprising since Mitt Romney hates Donald Trump. Like, hates Donald Trump. He tried to give this whole speech about he's just standing by his principles. No, but no if you believe that... I got some oceanfront property for you in Arizona. Like, no, that you were not standing by your principles. You just dislike Donald Trump. And what I find funny, like, that being said, like, all, all the media who are praising Mitt Romney for, oh, one, the, the one, pre, one Republican with principles and integrity were calling Mitt Romney a racist, sexist in 2012. And all the Republicans calling him a fake, fake conservative, not a real Republican, and a cuck voted for him in twenty twenty in twenty twelve. And here's this thing: um, Mitt Romney was just as much not a real Republican or real conservative in twenty twelve as he is today. And I considered myself a Republican in 2012, and I voted for him in 2012. But I remember in the primary saying, "He's not a he, like. Why is he our front runner? He is he's not a Republican. He's not a conservative. He had a universal health health care system in when he implemented when he was governor of Massachusetts. How is he a? Uh, how is he our our nominee? And but I was an idiot then and didn't. Just said, all right, I'm going to vote Republican. So I did vote, a no, full of stroke, I, I did vote for him in 2012. But I was saying that, like, this is nothing new. He wasn't a Republican then. He wasn't conservative then. He's not conservative now. So let's stop this outrage. Like, I'm glad y'all are finally realizing that he doesn't, ca he doesn't fit y'all's morals. I, so now we know who he, like, now y'all know who he is. Vote him out next time. So, yeah, that was that was this crazy week. Oh, then there was there was a debate last night in I think New Hampshire for the next next primary, but I didn't watch it because I wanted to go to bed. Who like I know I know what everybody's gonna say, and it's not gonna. And it's just a oh, Democrats got to be so upset. They're not gonna. Oh, the only way they win is if the economy crashes, which is a possibility with the way the Fed manipulates currencies is a possibility, but that's their only hope is an economic crash. So, yeah, that is this week. That's what happened. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, and... I'll see y'all next time.